New Yorkers are showing their support for Ukrainian businesses across the city, but many Russian cuisine restaurants are empty tonight. Their owners are telling CBS 2's Ali Bauman they stand passionately with Ukraine. The line wraps around the block Friday for Veselka, a beloved Ukrainian restaurant in the East Village. People are coming out in droves to eat and commensurate and sympathize and uh, purchase uh, whatever we can. Owner Jason Burchard says he and his staff are touched by the support. They're donating proceeds from sales of their borscht to Ukrainian relief efforts. As of today, we've raised $25,000 from the sales of borscht in this last two weeks. It's a much different Friday night at Russian Samovar in Hell's Kitchen, where business is down 60 percent. Business is hurt. <laughs> Beyond belief right now, especially coming out of COVID. You know, it's, we have nothing to do with the war. We want the war to end. This restaurant predates the collapse of the Soviet Union. Owner Misha von Schatz is half Ukrainian, as are most of his employees. Everybody that affected the Soviet Union came here. This was the safe haven. So just because it's Russian, Samovar doesn't necessarily mean it's Russian. Across the street, sales are also down here at the Russian vodka room. Its manager, who is Armenian American, says they've been getting harassed on the phone. Somebody trying to call all day today and cursing, just saying a bad words. Both restaurants now display Ukrainian flags, and on the Russian Tea Room's website, an assertion it renounces Russia's unprovoked acts of war in the strongest possible terms. We support our Ukrainian friends who is dying right now. We did not invade Ukraine. Putin invaded. Their awnings read Russian. Their workers avow their hearts are with Ukraine. In Hell's Kitchen, Ali Bauman, CBS 2 News. And for even more coverage of the war in Ukraine, head to our website. There you can also find ways to help. It's at cbsnewyork.com.